Oh, sorry about that. Didn't see you there. Just, you know, doing my job. I'm an operator at the home safety hotline. We're here for you if you start hearing weird sounds at nighttime. You see strange things around your room. You know, maybe you see some specks on the floor. Or maybe you don't recognize your face anymore. <laughs> or maybe you see yourself in the mirror looking back at you with a different expression. We're here to save you. Home safety hotline. Making sure demons don't like... I don't know, eat you in from the inside out and then do it again somehow. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to a game called Home Safety Hotline. Now this one looks to be a real gem. Hold up. I know how much a lot of you guys enjoyed Killer Frequency. Well, imagine a similar game style concept, but in this world, it's filled with strange anomalies and bizarre things. People might call you up, but maybe they've got some kind of ant infestation. And then the next call, maybe they've got some kind of trapped demon living within their walls. Currently there only exists a demo, so I had to check this thing out. It's ticking so many unique boxes. I gotta see how this thing goes down. You guys want to see the full game when it drops? I think you know exactly what to do or even play it for yourself. The link is down in the description. But for now, let's go ahead and check out Home Safety Hotline. Oh, we're straight in. Login, user guest, monitor. Um, hey, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the freak I'm doing. I might click log out. I'm done. It closed the game down. I thought it actually wouldn't do that. Human DNA confirmed. What kind of category is that? That's a bit of a weird one, but okay. We've got all these different things. We've got the Discord. You can wishlist this thing. Now, we've got a television commercial. Let's see what this even is. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Ugh. Hazards such as household fires. Yep. Not good, man. Flooding also. Common problems. Fire and water contrasting. Black mold. Watch that, okay? Keep your eyes peeled. Metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Yes, don't become a statistic. If you see a metamorphosis in your house, dial these guys soon. The freak is going on, bro. Let's get fired up with the demo. Oh, it's like a day system. Okay, so day one, we're getting comfy in our chair. Let's do our job. Home safety hotline. We've got the software.exe, so we're a responder. We are the helper of people. Welcome employee to begin shift. Please clock in. There you go. I'm clocking in right now as we speak on the computer. I got that dial up. Okay, it's slow. And now I'm in. We have all this stuff. No entry selected. We got no current callers. Lots of, uh, dang. Okay, we got lots of things. What the freak is going on? Look at all these things. Entry inaccessible. Bees? I mean, we'll click it. Okay, audio sample. Bees are small flying insects known to build large hive structures in high places, often in trees, attics, or roofs. Homeowners infested with bees sometimes report buzzing. Uh, is that the same kind of buzzing? I don't know. We got a caller. Connecting caller. Okay, this is cool. Here we go. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employees. My name is Ooh. Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Okay, thanks, Before Carol. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. We should learn, right? You are an HSH responder. Got it. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so mm -hmm. you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Got it. Oh, when sick. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully oh. to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard. Got and you. And we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Okay. Welcome to the HSH family. Thank you so much. I'm sure so we'll talk much. again soon. Hey, uh, man, I hope I can be that helpful guy here. Thank you so much, Carol. Take care. Carol didn't hang up. Does she say anything under her breath in the background? Hang on. These nuts. Okay, close that down. So we've got audio samples here. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, how do I stop this? Help me. Black mold. Do I have to seriously listen to all of this? Hold up. Forbidden privileges. If I answer the call, does the buzzing stop? Uh, can I? It does. Okay. John here. All right. My wife insisted I call this number. All right, John. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. All right. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or specks of something dirt. in the kitchen. Am I on the right Just thing? Just looks like coffee to me. I coffee? don't know. You tell me, I uh, guess. Uh, all right. Hold up. Submit info. If I place them on hold, does that mean I can search around here? Oh, all right. Place Please on hold. hold. Just, yeah, do that. Hey, okay, so it looks like coffee. Description, black mold is a common household fungus known to grow in moist, warm locations. It appears frequently as small black spots. Homeowners with black mold frequently report a musty smell. Allergic reactions breaking. It's not immediately dangerous, but enough can cause damage to the household. Okay, so I mean, it could be that. 
Carpentrance. We're gonna look through all of these then. So known for nesting inside wood. They sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls. That's scary. That's kind of creepy though. Cockroaches, another one. Uh, okay, homeowners with cockroach infestation commonly seeing droppings that appear. Ah, all right, John. I think we found our culprit, maybe. Gopher? We got gophers in our walls. We got gophers in our kitchens. I don't think so. We got housefly. Dude, rubbing his... Sp Hold up. What does it sound like, though? Hold up. Okay. I wish I could pause this. House spider. Does this have audio? No, I was going to say, what's the house spider saying, though? Okay, we got mice. We got the mole. I mean, we already know what it is, though. Termites tick. So, at the moment, this seems fairly, I guess, okay. Cockroaches. Let me just double check. Similar to Coffee Grounds. Let's submit our answer. It is going to be cockroaches, sir. There you go. Submit that. Sending info to the client. Do we listen again to him, though? Like... Oh, info, there you go. So we just hangs up. He knows what's going on. He's going to get the treatment from there on. And this is how we roll with this game. I got you. Can we ask the clients more questions as time goes on? That would be cool as well to dig in a bit more with what the problem is. And do I get a break to even think? Next call. Let's go. Connect me up. What's going to be the issue this time? Hey, here. Last week, I called your guys about some crap in my yard. All I right. I told them wasn't anything to worry about. You got dogs, well, sir? guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. Oh. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Woo. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. All right. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and Dude, for all. Dude, uh, you know you got to pay up first of all. Hang on. Please. Please hold. Definitely hold. I don't want to be spoken to like that. We'll just leave that one. So he's got piles of dung sitting outside. Okay, let's check through. We've got a mole. Mice are small, dark brown furry mammals with pointed pink muzzles that are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds and they are known to eat insects. Okay, maybe they're not that. we got termites. We've got ticks. I mean, they're not going to be what the, the cause is here. Um, it's going to be something else. I'm guessing the gopher. Bigger mammal. Gophers are small brown furry animals with large front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest for homeowners when they choose to burrow in the property, commonly damaging gardens. They're capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. If I... Okay, so I can't... Hey. Whoa. Oh, sorry, bro. Hey, hey, okay, I, I apologize for that. Um, I mean... It's, I feel like it's got to be. There's no human entry here. Like, maybe you're just pooping in your back garden. I don't know what you're doing in your free time, Hank. Do you have a strange group activity that you, you don't remember? Take the psychedelics before you act out in it. Wake up, then you see the pile of dung. I think gopher is going to have to be what I lock in. I, I don't really know. Like, uh, maybe... Maybe it's that, the biggest animal here. Let's give it a try. Go down to the gopher. Hank, I'm not 100% on this one, but I hope we're good here. Let's see. Uh... Lock it in. We're going to get a bad... Okay, there you go. We sent it. So, the only thing I'm curious... We don't know if we do a good or bad job. Let me just take a listen to the gopher. That's it. Okay, I have another call coming through. Answer it straight away. I like how busy this job is. Keeps me going. It's in my bedroom right now. Huh? It's watching me. I, I think it wants something from me. Uh... It's coming closer. It's coming for me. What the freak was that? Uh, it's a shame we have the number of his hidden. How do we call him back? Like, we can't. Uh, I hope he's good, but I don't think he's actually gonna be good, considering he was telling me in a very alarmed voice something was coming for him, getting closer, and then he didn't get to finish his sentence. Like, that, that just ticks all the boxes for a death really going down that we heard on the phone and we have someone else calling is it the entity or is he calling us back i hope it's him and he tells us he was having a bad dream hi it's i'm not. so sorry my name is grace hey grace it's probably nothing but i thought i'd call just in case oh good oh good lately i can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic uh, uh, it sounds oh, wait, kind of on. like e you know, it's, uh, it's probably nothing. Uh, I'm sure it could just okay. be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe this one could be... Please hold. I mean, if it sounds like E.E. -E. Is that what that is, though? They can become a pest to homeowners when they choose to burrow in their property. Damaging gardens. Is the gopher being the most annoying rodent so far. I, I don't know. Let me listen to the cockroaches. Maybe it's this. Homeowners with a cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear. I mean, we've done that one. That isn't right. We did hear about this. You know, you can hear the scutterings. Faint rustling sound. I mean, if she can hear that without deeply trying to listen out for it, maybe it is the gopher. Oh, no, wait, wait, hold up. We have our culprit. 
What's he saying? We don't know. He's communicating with the aliens. Maybe. Mice are small rodents commonly found in the household. Homeowners with a mice infestation commonly report normal, small sounds, and then small round droppings and sounds of squeaking. Okay. But can we just like, pause a second, this music in the back. My guess is, it kind of has to be the mice, right? Like, in a house, hearing that sound, it kind of ticks a few boxes. Let's go ahead and submit. <sighs> Bro, that dancing just killed me. That dancing straight up just took me out. I'm... <laughs> Whew, I need a second. If any client calls me in, like, the next five seconds, man, they're just getting breathless Ryan down the line. <laughs> I feel like we're doing okay at our job. HSH, like, responder software is working well, connecting us to the people that need us, and I know what I'm relaying in terms of, like, the help. Yeah, Buds Goober. How's it going, Buds Goober? Heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. What? The freak is going on? Just all over the place I got these whipper snappers yelping and what? whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. What the heck? I'm trying to lay down over here. Uh-huh, I'm trying to decipher this. I don't know. 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about right. it. <laughs> do I need to answer that? He just sounded like he hung up his phone. Buzz Google, why do you talk like this? Like, how do you do that without the effect? Now I'm very suspect, Buzz Google. That is uh, an amazing name. Uh, Buzz, I think what you should do is definitely contact Area 51, see what goes down. Maybe you'll get some help. Probably won't if you've already called 5,500 times. Maybe it's unhelpable. I don't know. I have no idea. I wonder what all of these other entries are. Look, there's so many down this drop down. It's like maybe 50, 60 different things when it comes to it. It might get real tough as like we further through this game. Connect me up. Let's, uh, we've got hey, Tim. Do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow. It's getting real crazy Tim, out man. there. Looking like a rainforest over here. Okay. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Mm. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah. The stress of this oh, stupid right. lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Dang. You guys, Not you bad. sent some guys up to get this done? Uh, let me just place you on hold real quick. Please hold. Yeah, I don't know if we can help him, but maybe we can send an infestation to keep his lawn under control, you know, guys? Maybe the housefly's gonna do a good job eating the lawn up, right? You good at that? Let me just, let me listen to his sound. Yeah, that, that's definitely him cutting the lawn, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hang on, carpenter ants. No way, hang on a moment. They're small insects known for nesting inside a wood home is infested with these pests sometimes. Okay, so we've read that one. Do they cut grass, though? Like, do, do bees cut grass? How can I help him? Like... Wait, what the heck do I submit? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and submit this one. Oh, I don't have the entry for this one. We've got go for housefly, but they ain't gonna cut his lawn. Do we have sentient mice by this point? Like in this universe, how sentient are the things that we have? Send some bees his way. Sting that, sting that sun. Maybe it's gonna kick his butt cheeks into this thing. I, I don't know. Like, there you go. Great, I helped you. We're, we're good to go, I think. I got a bad feeling that one might get me a, uh, a strike on my clean record right now. Bear in mind, I've been here one day. I'm already got a strike. How could I help him? Oh. Hello, it's Carol again, your hey. supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household Ooh. hazard information. All right. Please be aware that this information is confidential. Okay. And not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Oh, she got serious if with If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing what? more. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I mean, we got bat, right? We see that one uh, term for a variety of species. Nocturnal flying animals, carbon monoxide. Yep, that's that silent killer, man, odorless, but it does the job. Common, oh, okay, we got desk hop. Wait, what? Desk hop, a species of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other small structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They're physically sim- What are these? Hang on, what are all these new things? Feast? Thank you. Huh? That's strike two with you people. I got it wrong. First you tell me there's nothing, then you send me the wrong information. Um, I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even right. more critters in my yard. Ah, They're all staring sorry, at me man. now. They want me to... They want me to... Climb Ooh. inside the tunnel. I what must go inside. I must pay for my sins. Um... You got those giant moles, right? 
you know, just doing their thing. Hang on, we've got new sounds. It's sorting the things. Ooh, this is where the game opens up a little bit. Common hob? What is that, dude? Most species of hob found in the household, they're small humanoid creatures with gray, burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They know for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on the floor and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They only come out at night. What the heck? They're not dangerous, though. I'm trying to read these. This is interesting now. Do you guys handle security? I need uh, security installed. Okay. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff. I think it's a bit late. I know it's Bob from accounting. Desk Someone's hall. Someone's been envious of me. I know what you're huh. doing, like, Bob. Going this through my is... papers, taunting me with your organization skills. All right, Dad. I need your best home security equipment. Okay. Bravo. Okay. All right. Put your on. Hold up. Wait there a second. This is so interesting. I want to read all this. Okay, let's go through the normal ones. We've got frozen pipes. Yeah, common household hazards during cold seasons. They freeze the water. Uh-huh, that sounds like water stuck in a pipe, breathing its last breaths. House fires, I mean, we've seen this one. Yeah, rapid combustion reactions that can occur inside a home, caused by accidents when cooking, for example, or anything else involving open flames. A lamp sprite. This is so cool. This is awesome. What the heck? I love this. Lamp sprites are a common subspecies of sprite that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing the lamps they inhibit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell. Yo, it's so cool. This is sick. They are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not under any circumstances turn off the lamp. If he's in my bedroom doing that, ah, solution. Remove the lamps, put them all downstairs in one single room. Any more new ones? Stair slug? What the heck? Ugh, stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly found to occupy stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slugs commonly report a slimy residue on steps. Yo, this game is fire. Okay, that sounded fire. Ugh, they can be beneficial though. Hang on, do we employ the stair slug? They can be beneficial as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead. Yeah, I can see that one being the problem. That's cool though. It's like even these weird ed like entity, weird animal things in this world, they even get rid of the other different entities within. Wood secretions, is that like a problem though? Secretions are pink viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wood materials such as furniture or walls causing a sticky pooling buildup. It can be deadly causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Whoa, okay, is that genuinely a real thing? Cause now I'm scared about my desk. I, I got pink residue on my desk. False beats. I'm going down all these. I'm so worried that if we answer this call, we might finish up. False beats are creatures with a beat like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by the. What? They want to be consumed. They are harmless unless eaten, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off of its nutrients for a lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course. Bro, I got IBS. Did I eat a false beat? Last one in the list is the feast. They are mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, corn, meal and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near in eating areas of the home. They are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, they can provoke more dangerous activity or else its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carbon trans. So we can have like a knock on effect with that. All right, we got it. So someone is breaking into his house and going through his stuff at night. So let's get back on track with our objective. It's going to either be the common hog or, or common hob or the desk hob. So far, it's probably this one, like going through papers to me with your organization skills. We know these guys, they like a clean home. Okay, the common hob, what is the difference? I don't think they do a whole bunch. They are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. So it's going to be the desk hob for this guy. Let's submit the answer. Desk hob, there you go, client. Enjoy your solution. Yeah, good luck with that one, by the way. Let's read what the solution would be for that. They cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, message to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave breadcrumbs in the desk each night. So you kind of, you just allow them to exist within your world. I mean, bro, that's kind of sick like you have messy desk one desk hob in each one clean desk give them some bread they're all happy desk hobs seem kind of cool like they don't seem like the worst things in the world to have okay they, i could see much worse things that would destroy desks and stuff oh sorry i'm a uh oh dang uh, calling to see if you might know about anything i can do to <laughs> oh it's bad sorry i feel bad for uh, you anything you can do to uh prevent pollen from coming in the house. Close your windows? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something. Okay. Because I cannot stop sneezing. All right. In the past, I haven't had problems so mm -hmm. long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. 
Okay, okay. So we'll place Please you on hold. hold. Hmm. Sneezing. I don't think carbon monoxide does that. You just kind of, you go, man. Black mold. Does this cause any kind of sneezing? Okay, it's known to cause allergic reactions or breathing problems. That was like my initial gut instinct. I was thinking like maybe it's black mold. I'll, I'll look through some of these other ones, see if there's any other things that uh, maybe the feasts or the false beats can cause. No, I think it's looking a lot like it's gonna have to be the black mold. Like I know mold is, it does cause allergic reactions. So yes, send that one over. It doesn't seem like at the moment there's any form of punishment for submitting the incorrect information. So I would like to know if there is any sort of repercussions that do follow up if we continually mess this game up. It, maybe it does happen. It's just this is the demo, so we don't see it. I want the next caller to come through. Like, I want to hear about uh, more of these instances in the world where we've got the weird things going on, right? And all these other entries that we can't access, man. It's a big library. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? Uh huh. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but oh, when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet hmm. found anything missing. Okay. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. Right. So here I am. Is there something you can do? So we're like one above the cops almost, at least when it comes to controlling these sort of things. Even like down to the desk hubs and stuff. So these organize a lot. That's what it said. What about the common hub? They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances on ground floors. Cleaning them. They come out at night. Is it a desk hub then? Hold up a second. I don't really know. I keep hearing noise from my living room when I go to find out. It, okay, it must be the common hub because it explains and we even see the shop within the living room You see it kind of peering around the corner like that. Yeah, we see you if they clean everything in sight it's like Oh man You think I'm gonna disturb that thing you think I'm gonna go downstairs? No, thank you It has to be the common hub. It's got to be maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll learn common hub I hope we've helped you out Hunnigan. Hopefully you uh, are able to get a messy house again if that's what you want, which is weird. Seriously considering, like, how do I infest my home with hobs? I feel like this would make my house a lot more presentable. I want more entries, dude. I want even more of these things. Just so I can, uh, you know, learn about even more in this universe. It's, it's cool, man. It's really sick. All right, next call out. Bring it on through. we got Tim again. Uh-oh. Hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Ah. And my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. What? <laughs> Uh-oh. Thanks for nothing, jerk. He's going it. Oh. Sorry about that, Tim. Sorry about that, bro. I, uh, now I feel bad. Could have we helped him, man? Like, now, oh, that was fast. That was really quick. Maybe the call we got was too, uh... Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place. I don't think these people are bar. real. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind. Hey, by shut your the heck up, team. man. Oh, oh, maybe it's real. Okay. Pebbles, putting up with what? It no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. What I'm gonna grab freak? you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? Man, I should be laughing down the phone of this dude. This right. Okay, uh. <laughs> why, why laugh like that? Two calls back to back? It's, it's basically just as bad as a prank call. Mr. Pinball, go ahead, play your slot machines instead, okay? It sounds like your pinball days are over. Bouncing around in these calls, you know, like a pinball, you know, doing nice names, sir. New client, please call me. I'm ready. I am ready. Thank you. Let's get one where we can actually help them now. Oh. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here, letting okay. you know that your trial employment period here has ended. Oh. Please remember that all you have seen here is strictly confidential. Okay. Do Reminded not tell us anyone that. what you have learned here today. Or what? Eyes rest upon me. We hope to work with you again soon. Carol, are you really Carol? Is she really Carol? Oh, I don't know, man. And then we have a little preview here. You were a phone operator. This is awesome, man. I'm concerned about the stability of my new home. All right. Hey, okay, caller coming in. This is going to be so sick when the full game comes out, man. There's new things. Wow, look at them all. What? You will be held responsible. Uh, this is a, such a good idea for a game, man. This is awesome. It's really creepy. I can see this getting very weird over time. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline. Whoa! 
That's really cool, man. This is definitely on my radar. I have to see the full release of this. That was awesome. Let's check out those credits, man. Give it credit where it's due. These are the people making this game. All I can say, guys, keep it up, man. Keep it up. This looks super promising so far. Like, this could be definitely onto a winner, I would say. It's a unique presentation style. It's, it's ticking a lot of good boxes. Some things I think should be included is a slider as well to change, like, the on-hold music, just in case someone doesn't want to hear that. But other than that, I feel like the game is, like what it needs to be. It's got that grainy, gritty feel, which is what you want a game based in this 1996 era to feel like. It's like before the internet was truly the way it was today, this is the basic level we had. And this is like the helpline that's coming through. Yeah, I can see this getting very messed up down the line. The calls could be a very interesting portion of the game, especially as we learn about even more of these weird entities within this universe. It's, uh, it's a winner. It's a winner concept. That's all I can say. I, I can't wait to see the full game when it releases. For now, that is going to be it for this video. This was Home Safe. Safety Hotline, if you guys want to play this game for yourself and experience this and also read all of the different entities within this world, there is a free demo out. You can check the link down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, we did enjoy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I place an order for three desk hobs and then several for the house? Guys, I need my house clean, man. I don't want to do the work.